Well, hello there, my fellow Islanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how we could easily obtain as much adhesive as you want in Fallout 76 as of 2022. So, before we start, make sure that you sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, unlike most material in Fallout 76, adhesive is one of those things that it really isn't worth farming because only rare enemies and enemies that are extremely hard to find drop adhesive and there's just not a lot of them. But the best way of getting a lot of adhesive is by crafting vegetable stretch. And I'm not gonna tell you to just build corn and mud food and tattoo on your camp and just farm it for a day. No, I'm gonna show you the most effective way of crafting as much vegetable stretch as you need, plus a few locations and a certain workshop that you could take over and places that you could hit for enemies that drop adhesive. So first thing for us for crafting vegetable stretch, you need corn, mud fruit, purified water, and tattoo. If you play on a public server, which I highly recommend that for this run, you do this on a public server because enemies respawn time depend on the number of players that are online on the server. The more players, the less time it takes for them to respawn. And so I highly recommend you doing this on a public server, but let's say no one has this. Well, there's a location on the map that you could get corn, mud food, and tattoo from, which I will show you in a second. But before that, I highly recommend that you having two perk cards equipped. The first one is green thumb. With having this equipped, you will get double the amount of anything that you harvest so it essentially doubles your speed in crafting adhesive next one is super duper at level 3 it has a 30% chance that it will double anything that you craft so let's say you're crafting vegetable stretch this will give you a 30% chance to craft two vegetable stretch instead of one and so I highly recommend having these two perk cards because this will help you get a lot more adhesive than you would without them so with that out of the way First, you want to go ahead and fast travel here to Cobbleton Farm. This is where we get all the materials that we need for planting those plants. So let us go ahead and fast travel to Cobbleton Farm. And whenever you fast travel to Cobbleton Farm, the game will spawn you on this like mountain sort of area. So what you need to do is you want to follow where I'm going up here and up here there will be a few ghouls in the area in the shack. So you want to keep an eye out on those, but here you'll have anything that you need. As you can see, there's corn, here we don't need these, mud fruit, rasp grain, tato. So anything that you need besides purified water, you could find it here. And for purified water, you could just wait and build a few water collectors in the workshop that we're going to take over. So we want to go ahead and fast travel to Berkeley Springs West. We want to take over this workshop for a few specific reasons. One of them is that this region, the Meyer region, you could find anglers just randomly roaming this place. They don't have any guaranteed spawns besides a single location. Besides that, they're usually just randomly roaming the area. And with taking over this workshop, you will have a chance that whenever you're defending the workshop or the defender workshop event pops up, the enemies that are attacking the workshop are anglers. The chances of this isn't high, but compared to other workshop, it's pretty good. It has this advantage, and also it is in between two locations that you want to fast travel to. So let us go ahead, fast travel to Berkeley Springs, and take over this workshop. And when we fast travel here, you want to make your way towards the workshop. As you can see on the map, it says that it's to the northwest. So this is the workshop area. For taking over the workshop, you wanna go ahead and enter this shop, the books shop. In here, obviously you wanna enter this place, kill everything that's defending it. It could be ghouls, super mutants, or scorts. All of them could spawn here and defend this workshop. Scorts are the easiest, super mutants are the hardest. But after killing him, you just wanna follow where I'm going, up these stairs. And whenever you reach this room, you wanna Go from here and into here. This is the workshop. So now we want to take over the workshop. So you want to pay the caps, take over the workshop. After that, you want to make your way towards like this area behind the workshop. 
this area with the hole i think this is a yeah this is a lead deposit so you could build a lead collector on top of this for your ammo production but after this this area is a big patch of dirt so we want to start building the plants that we need on this big patch of dirt so we need a mud fruit I think we needed corn and we needed tato. I only built three of each because I don't need adhesive, we have enough adhesive. Next you wanna remove this one and then you wanna build your water purifiers. You wanna make nine of these, don't make more than nine because they won't work. You can craft them but more than nine will not work at the same time so don't craft more than nine water collectors then obviously you need a power source and don't forget to lock your water collectors do a level two lock level three lock use a screw and screw is really hard to find so just use level two locks for protection you could build a turret around these if you want to protect them but that's up to you and after this you want to start the run for killing the enemies so first of all you want to fast travel here to middle mountain cabins so here there's a chance that honey beasts would spawn they have a low chance of spawning here i think yo guys and honey beasts could spawn here yo guys have the highest chance of spawning in this place and honey beasts have a low chance to spawn here but that's the best you could get and as you can see we could we should already prepare to defend our workshop first let's run and usually get two honey beasts or two yo guys here rat scorpions could also spawn here but they have the lowest chance to spawn here you could get one up to two rat scorpions in here which this time i think we got the shorter end of the stick and a rat scorpion spawned here two of them spawned actually three of them spawned here now let us go ahead make our way back to our workshop and defend it and let's see where we'll attack it so sadly this time liberators attack the workshop that's a bummer but you know this is one of the only workshops that anglers attack and so that's sort of the only reason that we took over this workshop instead of another one and we have defended the workshop so now for the next location you want to go ahead and fast travel here to Braxton's quality medical supplies. So let us go ahead and fast travel there. Anglers have a chance to spawn there. That's why we're heading to that place. Now in here we want to make our way towards this place itself. And this time, well, alien invaders, what do you know? Well, I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. We have aliens spawning here. That's cool. Yeah, so apparently aliens spawned here this time. Also, you could collect fusion cores from here. But yeah, so before this event, I think anglers and blood eagle raiders were the only enemies that could spawn here but now apparently aliens can also spawn here so I guess that's good to know. So yeah these are the two main locations that we want to head for farming. Adhesive, they usually respawn every 30 minutes in public servers so you want to hit these two locations every 30 minutes. Also besides this, anglers have a low chance to spawn at pylon v13 alongside most of the boss enemies like Grafton Beast, Snally Gases and other enemies. So you could also hit Pylon V13 but that area is a bit difficult to clear. There's usually Super Mutant Behemoth there so that's up to you. But yeah so after this obviously you want to go back to your workshop, gather the plants that you have crafted, harvest the plants, craft vegetable stretch and then do this run again. So yeah guys that'll be it for this video. If you have any questions left feel free to ask me in the comment section or join my Discord server link in the description, and I will catch you on our next video, take care.